dearest rivals and the dearest rivals in, in that respect. Um, we respect them a lot. They've looked like they've improved since, you know, not because Daryl's left, but because I think the, the group of players that they have now looks a little, slightly better than the group that they had in, in the spring season. Um, you know, they play a, a nice brand of football, which, you know, as a coach, as a supporter, as a football fan, a soccer fan, I enjoy to watch. But yeah, where we're concerned, we're trying to win the series against them. Every team that we play, we'd like to come out on top um, over the four games that we played them throughout the year. I think that enables us to have done that and, and then we've added bonuses to, to win the Coastal Cup. Um, and for our great friends, who fans who come here every week or whenever we play at home and, and cheer the team like they did tonight, um, magnificent support when, when we need them. Um, they have become our 12th man always, so we'd like to say thank you to them for, for their help that they've given us too. I think last, you know, whether we subconsciously or without really realising it, the defeat against New York maybe took its toll not just physically but also mentally, you know, in, in the confidence stakes. And I think we didn't really get ourselves out of that haze until the second half in, in Fort Lauderdale. But tonight I felt, you know, right from the get-go, we, we had a good um, intensity about us, a good attitude about us, a good focus about us, and as a sh our shape looked quite good. Having said that, you know, Fort Lauderdale played well in spells during that first period and looked as if they could penetrate and pass the ball through us. And obviously, when we got the first goal, which was a well-executed goal, I think, you know, if you look back on it, it looked good in any, any league at any time. You know, passing to Etienne from Shane, Etienne's movement with the ball and then his release for Lucky and then Lucky's excellent finish. So that was a great goal that we created. Unfortunately, we weren't able to build on that during that period. And then we fell asleep slightly um, again, when we had a chance to counter-attack, um, we've ended up losing the ball fairly cheaply on the halfway line. And we've got people that have made breaks because we th they thought there was good possession and they've taken chances and gambled on getting overlaps. And suddenly we've given it away and they've countered well and managed to get in the box and, and pulled off a lovely created goal for them. Um, all credit to our players, though, for not get letting their heads drop. Because at this moment in time, you know, we'd lost two games in a row and it'd be quite easy to, to feel sorry for yourselves and quite easy to, to go into a little bit of a, a lull. But they didn't. And at halftime, I tried to just re-emphasise the fact that it's a 45-minute game now. You know, it's all to play for, 45-plus minutes, and we have to be the winners. If we keep a clean sheet, then hopefully we can get a couple of chances and, and take a goal. And, you know, second period, in the initial period, the opening phase of the second period was arguably our best spell during that game. I didn't think they got into our penalty area until around the 60, 63rd, 64th minute. So that's nearly 20 minutes of, of play outside of our box, which all credit to our players. Um, it would have been nice to score at that time, but we didn't. But we kept going, and after we scored, we got a little bit anxious. I feel like Etienne did a really good job. Like He saw me fake the guy, then come back in, and then he saw me make that straight run. And then I was like, OK, let me just take my chances and to go around the goalie and finish. Yeah, all the credit to Etienne though, that was a really good ball. Ricky told me to keep moving around and like not to be stationary and like keep making like faking them and like as long as they keep following me there's gonna be a time where I'm gonna be by myself and then that's when I should take off. It's always nice when there's away fans in the game as well, you know what I mean? So there's a bit of a back and forth between the fans so every credit to Fort Lauderdale Strikers fans for coming all the way down and um, even more credit towards the Rowdies uh, coming out in numbers and very delighted to get the score sheet, score the winning goal and yeah, every time I seem to score a goal I get too excited and heard all over them. The uh, mentality was the past is in the past. Before tonight we had four games uh, left for the season. We wanted to finish the season undefeated and obviously uh, beat the over record against each team and then but also not looking past tonight. We will need to take care of business tonight, not worry about what the New York score was or wherever else we are in the league. If we won tonight then we're still in second place. So just happy that we did that and then we'll hopefully do the same thing next week.